What is up guys, welcome back to the channel Guys, we here with another American Explains Australia to Americans So, I know a little bit, good amount, you know, about Australia But now we get to hear from another American point of view About Australia So, we finna check this out, see what it's about Before we do that, y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button Follow your boy on Instagram, Twitter, uh, the Patreon Those different things like that, but Let's check this out. Good day. Almost two years ago, through a turn of fate, I made friends with a random Australian <laughs> dude over the internet, which Are led you? to me meeting his friends, and over time I can now say that I have dozens of friends from the quote-unquote hey. land down under. Never having had any exposure to the Australian people, there were moments of culture shock, distinct <laughs> dialect differences <laughs> as well as the dispelling of preconceived no what in the world how you, where you find this picture at? Oceans oh, about what that? i thought australia was being a product of the american <laughs> education system i had very limited <laughs> knowledge about australia and most of what i did know came from paul hogan and that oh. shit quigley down under movie <laughs> so in the interest of improved future international relations, I would like to present to you an American Explains Australia to Americans. <laughs> America and Australia have some things in common. Fortnite? Australia and the continental hey. United States are approximately <laughs> the same size. We were both originally British colonies, but Australia's colonists were mostly convicts. Australia has a population of about 25 million people, which is a little less than the population of Texas. Hey, but whereas Texas. the average number of guns per household in oh. Texas is 8.1, in Australia the number of privately owned guns is 47. Probably has something to do with that whole convict thing. Most people in Australia live here, here, and here. We'll come back to this small section, but I would like to also mention <laughs> Tasmania, which besides exporting the standard natural resources is also Okay, a I think I've I seen these rocks when I checked out that Tasmania video. ...large producer like of wine and is technologically Ooh. behind the mainland a century or so. Australia's number one exports are iron, feral camels of which there are about hey, 600,000, and... Wait a minute, that looked like iron. the... Uh Feral camels of that look like keeping up with the Joneses air uh, helicopter right there. Of which there are about six hundred camels and alcoholic film actors such as Mel Gibson, Not Mel Jeffrey Gibson. Rush, Russell Crowe, Brian Brown, Nicole Kidman before marrying Tom Cruise, <laughs> Errol Flynn, Noah Taylor, <laughs> Sullivan before. Stapleton, Nicole Kidman after marrying Keith Urban, Heath Ledger, <laughs> every Hemsworth. Jack Thompson and Russell Crowe again. Colin Farrell is not an Australian, much to my surprise, he's Irish, but does <laughs> qualify for citizenship. Sports are very important to Australians, with their most notable sport being AM, the Queensland video. Cockroach Races. Oh, Incident I thought you were going to say that, I seen, now what did I see? Man, it was some race I seen, it was... It might have been the cockroach race. I think I did see the cockroach race. If you ever need to break up a fight between Australians, simply scream the words, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, Aussie, They Aussie. will immediately stop what they're doing and answer, Oi, Oi, Oi. Oi, Oi, Oi. not only encoded <laughs> into their DNA, Aussie, 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 but Aussie. is oi, mandated oi, oi. by law in their constitution to do so. The most common misconception that. Americans have about Australia is that everything in Australia will kill you. This is far from the truth. I mean, sure, it is home to snakes, sharks, great white sharks who apparently have their own mailbox on the Great Barrier Reef, what? crocodiles, oh. blue-ringed octopus, cone snails, killer jellyfish, oh. European Dang. honeybees, and homicidal horses who manage to kill 20 people a year. Dang. But Australia is also home to some of the most adorable animals on Earth. Like wombats who poop cubes, opium addicted <laughs> wallabies, and the inspiration for the American teddy bear, the koala, who are incidentally rampantly infected with chlamydia because they are f***ing themselves blind in mass orgies oh while walking God. down kilograms of eucalyptus. Eucalyptus oil, by the way, folks, is highly flammable, which causes massive brush fires. Dang. That's right. Even the Thought trees it was the in Australia are trying to kill its citizens. 
in an effort to protect the people, the livestock, the farmland, and also to prevent the loss of life in the dingo population, the Australian government decided to erect a 5,600-kilometer wall. Dang. While this was a victory in conservation, it was a massive and costly undertaking. The government learned from this mistake, and rather than repeat this folly 50 years later, it was decided that it would be more prudent for the country to declare war outright on the emu. Though the <laughs> emu had greater numbers, they eventually succumbed to Australian air superiority. It is the only nation to ever find NASA Rubber. for littering. Have one of its citizens try to sell New Zealand on eBay oh and is God. slowly running out of gasoline, which is making the events of Mad Max a self-fulfilling Oh my gosh. Australians do not have shrimp on the barbie. Shrimp are called prawn. Prawn. Liquor stores are called bottleos. If you don't pay for a succulent Chinese meal, the police will grab your penis. Rednecks are bogans. What? The word f**k is used as punctuation. The Australian <laughs> word for friend is <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> no is pronounced yena and yeah, yes nah. is pronounced naya. Nah, yeah. nah, yeah. The way to ask how are you in Australia is pronounced how you going. How you the got? number one national pastime is making fun of or taking the piss out of your friends and loved ones. <laughs> What I have learned about oh. Australia is that it is a country full of fun-loving, honorable, and genuine people who have a culture of not letting oh, themselves that. get bogged down with the small stuff in life. It is my privilege to be able to say that some of my best mates are Australians. Nice. So the next time Very you crack open a tree of Fosters, just remember, Australians do not drink that horse piss. <laughs> That's crazy. This was good. This was good. Hilarious. That's hilarious. That was hilarious. Dang. I I don't know why. I just feel like I needed to say, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> nah, that's funny. That's good. I, I mean, I, like, with all the videos I've seen, I was, couldn't agree. Couldn't agree. But this was good. This was good. Not bad. Not bad. You know, uh, I give him nine out of ten. Y'all might, well, y'all let me know what y'all think. I think he had everything down packed. You know, I still don't know too much. You know, I'm still learning and getting to know a couple of things. So you know, but not bad for an American explaining Australia to Americans. But that's all I have, guys. I had to check that out. That was, that was hilarious. That was kind of funny. That was kind of funny. But y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Got the Patreon. Y'all like to check me out. Doing those movie TV show reactions that get blocked here on YouTube. You know, probably purposely. I don't know. But press the wrong button. That's all I have. Y'all let me know. Y'all send me more video suggestions. Hit that subscribe button. Y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.